this yay all on exactly the same machinery so who will get to one of the Red Bull KTM Tech 3 bikes has been stalled and that means it's going to be a pit lane start was that Ikele he's Ikele Kawona. who will master Mizano the man on the far left from pole get it going there is Ikele Kawona. Look, just under the 10,000 then here at Mizano and topping performance in FP3 yesterday you could have sold 99,970 seats their class 199 he sits on what a place it would be to go into Yamaha had such a good day here last year and almost won it with this four spots Quattararo hopes so he's got a three-point lead over Davizioso Miller he's got to get a great start and then he's got to try and really push hard to get some decent temperature and enjoying the race here today but surely it's got to be so much more than that there's bragging position record there you can see it with your own eyes Marquez won twice and of course at buying yesterday locking out the top four Lynn Jarvis with the sunglasses and the mask he still look Maverick Vinales ready green flag waving we are ready. Vinales at all. Franco Morbidelli got away really well. Fabio Quattararo gets swallowed. And through comes... Did Fabio Quattararo. Disastrous start from the front row for the Frenchman. Saris Morbidelli and Rotino wanted. Immediately a defensive line there from Maverick Vinales. The two Suzuki's had a good day at all because he's now got the hard work to get through on Jack Miller's Ducati. Jack Miller said he might try and... A tight line up the inside though. It's going to oh. be close this one. And he closes the door. Does Franco Morbidelli on the... Miller. He's going for it now though. He's got that inside line. Whoa, he sits him up. Miller throw on Jack on the coattails of Fabio Quattro. It'll be more day though that leads his home Grand Prix through cup chief teeth chattering. Cheat tattering. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both need our teeth putting Jack Miller. Then it's Maverick Vinales. And Fabio Quattro is desperate to try and find a way past both Vinales and Quattro, the exact opposite to the starts that Morbidelli and Rossi both made. Because it's such a short start finish straight. There is Joanne Zarco. He's intent just here. He's really keen to get through on Franco Morbidelli. Yeah, no major impression behind Maverick Vinales in four spot. And Morbidelli and Rossi are starting to make... He's going for it again up the inside of Morbidelli. Morbidelli just leaves his brake in that little bit late there. Yeah, great drive Rossi gets out of turn six. Through we go then into Vinales, but also trying to keep Alex Rins at bay. Yeah, the two Suzukis are starting to look seriously terrible. Start for Miguel Oliveira. He lost five places. The Styrian Grand Prix race winner. He plays at the moment. Thought Rins was going to fire it up the inside of Quattararo into turn 14. No one behind Maverick at the moment. Vinales is still waiting probably for that hard rear tyre to properly come in on the front row there. Struggling in these early stages. Morbidelli from Rossi and Miller. It's more got a bit of space between himself and Pecco Bagnaia back in eighth place. Vizioso is coming under threat there at the top of your picture from Joan Zarco. Was Zarco going through under Vizioso? Well, now Rossi gets that great drive from turn six. Can he challenge once more? That was a great grip coming out of turn six. What a great shot that was. You can see that the cat is sitting down that horse. I think Quattaro might just be attacking Maverick Vinales there. It was getting very, very close. Couldn't... Here come the top three, and here come Maverick and Fabio. Fabio, the Yamaha coach with the bumps better than most. Surely Fabio Quattararo is going to have a look. Now he's pressure on Vinales now, isn't he? They can just see Morbidelli and Rossi eking away at the feeping the boss at bay. On board with the doctor there as we come across the line. He won't have Vinales. Gets great grip out of turn 16. Miller's the fastest man on circuit right now. A 30, the pretty test rider, unfortunately. He's taken a tumble at turn 14. Yeah, this is good from Jack. Out of turn six we go. Look at that. Rear end. Squats down. Squat. Oh, still as you were. Morbidelli, who hasn't led a race now since Bruno, of course. Learned in recent history, what we've learned in recent history is that sometimes both Morbidelli... So how will that work out as we get into the business end of this race? Now then, Quattararo... Well, well, wide there. Really through. wide. Turn 11. So you've got to watch that. You've got to... has got to take a long lap penalty. Joanne Mir at the moment, just clap times, but Rins is... Opened up an advantage of seven tenths. He's taken a big chunk of time. Was that Rins going for Quattararo in the background there? Sorry, Steve. I'm not, I think Rins might have been actually looking at a move here, but not quite able to make the passes stick. He was the fastest man on that last lap, Alex Rins. Did he yeah, because, on, because if of you the stall, stalling. Yeah, if you stall it, you're supposed to wheel the bike off the grid and start from pit lane. So good then for Franco Morbidelli, but he's got company. And Miller's closed that gap down a bit as well, the Pramitalas and Quattararo. That hard rear tyre now will be in and working nicely. He'll be up to moving his way forwards and perhaps piling pressure then on Miller, Rossi and Morbidelli ahead of him. Then his protege that he brought through the ranks at the academy. Start of this one. There is Alex Rins then. Fastest man on circuit. 
trying said this weekend, particularly Davide Brivio, say how difficult it is to overtake around this two or three laps, but he just can't find a way through to make the move clean. Just Bunny going to get a bit harder for Banyar as well, and Dovi, ninth, is about the best as it gets. Uh, then rolling back the years into turn four, keeping that gap down to under the off road event at the uh, VR 46 Ranch in Favulia. These two all ways pair finishes on the podium here today. It's one of the rides of the day. You're expected to see the Yamaha the speed. Miller's doing a grand job in the early stages. Absolutely awesome. That's why Ducati have picked him to be. He needs to dispatch of Miller quickly. He's going for it now. And he's going for it. That awesome. start posing a real serious problem. This is going to be fascinating. With clear track ahead of him, how quick. Cool. a look up the inside of Jack Miller into turn four, which has proven so costly for Fabio Quattro today. That's gapped Miller behind him. Is Miller just starting to find it? Not a lot wrong with Pecco Bagnaia. He's having a shoulder. big look over his shoulder there, Jack Miller. I think he's got a bit of trouble. He was in the Andalusian Grand Prix when that cruel mechanical problem denied him a stone first podium finish in MotoGP. Well, I'll tell you what, if he manages to get past Alex Rins, there'll be some. Yeah, Tavulia will be rocking, I think it's fair to say. So then. Steve, that Franco Morbidelli stretched his lead over Rossi to over a second at the moment. Ross gave of Rins and Bagnaia. There is Rins, there is fastest rider actually, was Juan Mir, number 36, yeah. 30 behind Jack Miller. Yeah, that lap time mullered Miller because he was 1.4 secondly, Andrea De Vizioso is lapping just as quick as the guys out front as well now. He ain't quicker than most. Well, De Vizioso is playing his get out of jail free card, big star today because GP World Championship. How many more twists and turns are we going to get in the road? My, I, 13 laps to go. Look how quickly Rins and Magno have dispensed with... I mean, just nobody can keep any consistency in MotoGP in 2020 at all. So it might be set to continue after this. There's Lin Jar, standing success, real stars of the show in many respects in 2020. They have won a lap time, that is from the race leader. A 132.748. It's a person that was half a second quicker than the 41-year-old behind him. And now Rossi can forget about it. He's got some work on, hasn't he, to try and hold on to this podium because there's some good speed going on. First, we're both quicker than Rossi, Rins and Banyaya last time around. Here is Joanne Zarco, ATMs, 11th, 12th and 13th. He's just on a 133.251, so there's nothing wrong with his rhythm at the moment. Maverick Rossi, but look who's closing on Rins. It's going to get worse as well in a minute for uh, Maverick Vinales. Because I can faster than Vinales. How is it possible? How can you be so, and at this stage of the race, be in seventh place? Well, there are going to be questions asked, aren't there, about his rear tyre. Strong on all weekend, but with this win, maybe slightly cooling the temperatures down on uh, Jack Miller quite quickly. Look at the corner speed. The Suzuki's got much better corner speed, much Yeah, well, it's just the turning ability of that Suzuki in comparison to the Ducati as well. To the back straight we go. This is the battle for fifth and sixth. And Rossi ahead oh, of them, Mia. Out of the seat. Been eager there yeah. on the power, wasn't he? Steady on in MotoGP. Every single point is so, so precious. Unbelievable. I mean, Alex Rins at the moment on that last lap was... It's all about his focus and concentration and keeping himself cool because he be now Rossi's struggling here, big start. He's being reeled in massively by both Rin. Yeah. Valentino Rossi, his pace has fallen. Well, it's the gap. It's down to half a second, so Rin's again much the quicker man. Uh, upset things, and Mir has got through. Mir's gone through on Jack Miller, so Mir pace is not bad at all. In fact, it's brilliant. He's still doing low 133s. It's just behind Rossi. Actually, he's done a 32 all race. He's reeled off lots and lots of low 133. Oh. That was lovely that's from Joanne Mir. That's just a bit of corner speed, a bit of edge grip, and a bit of agility in second. Alex Rins there in fourth on the Suzuki. And then the Decadium in MotoGP, which arguably should have come in her F. He was brilliant there as well from his broken leg. Doesn't really seem to be affecting him. He did say that he was a little bit tired of Rossi. He might get a whack around the back of the head with that crush. <laughs> <laughs> to go. And this has been a masterclass from Franco Morbidelli thus far. Brilliant. But once again, behind him, Magnara again was able to fire in a high one. 18 laps has put in his fastest lap of the race, and he's into the low 133s. Unfortunately, that's Jerez when he took his only podium of the season so far. He's going to have to do a lot of defensive work over these laps. Rear, Michelin. Will that last the distance? And to that medium rear tie compound now. It's then. all over for Quattararo. Yeah, he's in the pits. Will retire, and he can't believe it.
Can you believe what a has happened in MotoGP? A full weekend. Not a top six in the last four Ooh, after such a record breaking start. Four tenths of a second. And yeah. now they're on him. He's really struggling, I think, at the moment. Not strong rhythm, it's just that those two behind him are that little bit quicker. Not a lot in it. But fine, mind you, for eight laps is a job like no other. Yeah. That's going to be with Alex Rins on the Suzuki. Breaking into turn four. This is where Rossi's okay. On the exit of turn six, no problem. And these are points that are... Is he going to have a look up the inside into turn eight? Is he going to outbreak Rossi? Not this time. Nair as well. Quattararo has actually come into bits now. He's rejoined the race. In this more day for Maverick Vinales. This is where Rin seems to be able to make up. Come back to Gatti Ryder. Is he going to do two in one? Brave in the extreme by Bagnaia. Up the inside now. Oh, somebody, someone's, someone's gone, down. gone down. Who's down? Oh, we can hear it. Yeah, definitely. Goodness me, I thought it was more you know what? I almost, I thought the same. Oh, well, Fabio Quattararo is shocker of a Sunday here in Mizano. I Second crash of the day. Son, my ticker fluttering there, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Blimey. <laughs> Right. Anyway, Bagnaia and Alex Rins. Rins in hot at turn four that time around. And it's going to be cold tyre. That's and just yeah. That's just nowhere near enough temperature in the tyre. It's emotions post-race for the Petronas Yamaha SRT team because on one side, the flip side of that coin, will be unbridled joy for Franco Morbidelli. Now here comes Bagnaia. Side of Valentino Rossi, his boss as well. We've got the two academy boys ahead of them. Bagnaia, he's not close enough. The academy was designed to bring through young talent, not necessarily to vote. Can Rossi cling on to a home podium, a milestone 200th Premier Class podium, and force that issue? Well, I just did not see this one coming. Incredible stories who thought about the move into turn two there. He wants to make it stick on this group quite rapidly. But this probably gets the job done. Rins has been told to switch to mapping three. Tino Rossi, the block pass is coming. Oh, my goodness Crikey. me, that was close. Oh, I was Wino Rossi in Mazzano. Not when he's on a podium. If you're going to make the move, make it clear. I mean, yeah, if Alex Rins did that, he's going to need 24-hour security every time he steps onto Italian. Sossi and Rins is just giving me a, a chance to creep back into this battle. Looks like he's going to have that second place, which should have been his, of course, in Andalusia a few weeks. He's back up into sixth. Five laps to go now. Morbidelli who's trying to get through on Rossi. Rossi there knew it was coming. That was a very clever... Yeah, Mir just... Tr as Rins, rather, just trying to pick his moment here. Somebody can. This is going to be tough, tough going here for Alex Rins. We saw Magnaia just use the pan the braking zone for turn number eight. He's not going to be close enough to strike this time around. Made a bit so, so may well be picking off Jack Miller before the end of this race. He's a lot, lot quicker than the Australian. Out of turn ten we go. Mir is not out of this at all. In fact, he was a lot, lot quicker. With that clear track, he's much, much quicker than Rossi and Rins. Close enough again. Although Rossi's slightly wide on exit, they're almost side by side. And seen the two Suzukis ganging up behind him. Right then, on to the start on to this crucial podium spot. Tito Rabat's crashed out. Riders actually, because you've probably seen on a screen that that's his strongest point. And now Mir yeah. is on them as well. Having to do all he can to keep Mir behind him as well. Well... He might actually be able to do balance myself. Tito Rabat, so let's hope that he's uh, perfectly OK. There's your race leader at turn eight. Just still, he desperately wants to make it onto the podium here in Mazzano for the two and the time with, the, with his two prodigies, Bagnaia and Morbidelli. We haven't had an all-Italian Perugi and the Vizioso. Are, are able to stay in these positions. Well, he's, he's coming back towards Pecco Bagnaia. they throwing everything at this, but... He hasn't been able to make a decisive breakaway. The top three is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, Rossi will be feeling that he could do himself a big favour. It's so difficult to predict this one. We've got four riders fighting now for two spots on the chain for him that we're not able to witness this show that he's put on because he's... A quality helmet yesterday was all to do with the famous Spike Lee movie, Do the Right Thing. Well, he's done the round, fired up the inside of Valentino Rossi. Rossi, so, so good. So late on the one second spot. I, I need to be getting that spot. I need to buy myself some time. Rins with Patty. That's the key. It's so difficult to overtake. Miller's now got a second. So <laughs> crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so, so crazy in MotoGP. Taking the way to look. Tono service. I mean, we could still have two Suzukis on the podium as yet. <laughs> Anything's likely to happen. There's two through these final sectors. Bagnaia's lead over Rossi shrinks once more. Rins, have another look at Valentino Rossi here. No. Bagnaia 
Jeff, what a resolute race he's ridden so far. Absolutely so. And this man has been in a class of his own, Franco Morbidelli. Yeah, the 25-year-old race, some emotion. It really is. Especially after what happened to him over the last two races in Bruno. And what a response this has been from Franco Morbidelli. Well, it, it, given the championship charge also, 25 points are so precious at this moment. Dovi has gone through on Miller. Good. Dovi gets on through, and that's another vital world championship point. Now then, Trins cannot get through on Rossi. Rossi, in turn, trying to find a way Come through on Pecco. Control, but he's lost a second in the last lap. Yeah, I think he's got it under state. Oh, he's gone through on Rins. Sorry, Matt. And that could be it. That could be done. Now then, Rossi. That final, uh, sorry, Rins make a mistake in that final sector. Morbidelli is, is here. Yeah. He's Bagnai and Morbidelli. We haven't had an all-Italian Perugi and the Vizioso. are able to stay in these positions. Well, he's, he's coming back towards Pecco Bagnaia. They're throwing everything at this, but he hasn't been able to make a decisive breakaway. The top three is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, Rossi will be feeling that he could do himself a big favour. So difficult to predict this one. We've got four riders fighting now for two spots on the chain for him that we're not able to witness this show that he's put on because he's a quality helmet yesterday was all to do with the famous Spike Lee movie Do the Right Thing well he's done the own fired up the inside of Valentino Rossi Rossi so so good so late on the one second spot I, I need to be getting that spot I need to buy myself some time Rins with Patty that's the key it's so difficult to overtake Miller's now got a second. <laughs> crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so, so crazy in MotoGP. Tacky just the guy to look. Tono service. I mean, we can still have two Suzuki's on the podium as yet. <laughs> Anything's likely to happen. There's two through these final sectors. Bagnaia's lead over Rossi shrinks once more. Rins, have another look at Valentino Rossi here. No. Bagnaia, what a resolute race he's ridden so far. Absolutely so. And this man has been in a class of his own, Franco Morbidelli. Yeah, the 25-year-old race, some emotion. It really is. Especially after what happened to him over the last two races in Bruno. And what a response this has been from Franco Morbidelli. Well, it, given the championship charge also, 25 points are so precious at this moment. Dovi has gone through on Miller. Good. Dovi gets on through, and that's another vital world championship point. Now then, Trins cannot get through on Rossi. Rossi, in turn, trying to find a way Come through on Pecco. Control, but he's lost a second in the last lap. Yeah, I think he's got it under state. Oh, he's gone through on Rins. Sorry, Matt. And that could be it. That could be done. Now then, Rossi. That final, uh, sorry, Rins make a mistake in that final sector. Morbidelli is, is here. Yeah, he's going to have a proper yeah, bite of Valentino gonna have Rossi. A pop here. Mir's going to have a pop. Is he going to be close? I don't think he is. Rossi's been awesome on the brakes into turn number eight. No, Mir in Mazzano. And it's not over yet for the podium places. You have it. They're almost touching. Oh, what, what a move. move was that? What a move. That is a young, that move. Bravo, Juan Mir. Rossi's now going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Sure. He's wide, though. It's all gone wrong. Mia ran the super tight line. Is there going to be Lakers? It looks like Frankie can relax. He's going to take his first MotoGP. But it's Samba time for Franco Morbidelli, who is finally... We have not got a Yamaha 1-2-3. Bagnaia, take a bow. With a, what a, another astonishing show here in Mizano. What a last lap that one. VR46 side of the factory Yamaha. Garage. He did everything he could. Got to say, Ross uh, Mir got there. Four corners later, bang, straight through. This is, but this is fantastic to see. Look at those three lads. Well, lads, only oh mate. He went no. I was fourth. Unbelievable. That move from Mir on the last lap. He will be full respect for that move by Mir. Alex Rins ran out of steam, didn't he, late on? Co oh, Yeah, Wilco, we'll give us a word. I mean, mixed emotions with Fabio Bart. Yeah, with teams, with two good riders. Uh, one is doing well, the other one uh, made a mistake. And I'm very happy for Frankie. Uh, he achieved what he achieved. And, uh, yeah, of course, uh, for Fabio. And, uh, Fab Maverick a little bit too long, and he wanted to catch them quickly. And he, uh, he, he had a slice. You Can you win that one? It's, you know, you go over the moon. And he did it, you know?